Right. Yeah, so I, 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 I do think it's still a, an early adoption market, but that's changing. Uh, people are very aware of what's happening in there. I, I, I believe part of the, the supply, the, the service provider market around it is still, still that's still maturing. Um, still comments like, well, we don't know where to get this stuff. It's like, well, did you, you know, so there's still sort of a, an awareness thing. I mean, there are people that are providing the services that can integrate these, uh, but I think there's just sort of, there needs to be a few more uh, rounds of proven models, and I think it'll really come together for a lot more enterprise folks and, and what's really happening here. But as you say, when the banks uh, and, yeah. the, and the yeah. big, the, when the banks begin yeah. to get interested yeah. then, there's a movement there which, me, yeah, they, they, they yeah. don't go into anything if there's not money involved in it. Right, that's right. I mean, they're going to there to save money. I think a lot of IT departments are finally uh, starting to really look at their costs a little bit more in, in this way, and I, I think that's impacting, impacting the, the, the helping the movement along. So what have you brought to the show? What you've been so so we are a power company. We do a new type of power distribution. So um, the traditional power path is to come in from your utility and AC. And we don't change anything there. Uh, and then it's <clears throat> been to go to DC, float the batteries, go back to AC, get down to the servers, and go back to DC. Uh, right. So all those conversions, each one is a, is a cost. Uh, each one is a hit in the meter to motherboard efficiency, as we like to call it. Right. Uh, and that's something that we want to permanently change. Um, when you come to OCP and you see the rack and you see that it's a 12, just a piece of copper on the back, 12 volts, IT now is really just hooking up to that 12 volt. So IT has made the decision that we're not a power generation place anymore. We don't want to take in AC. We don't want to take in 208 AC. We want to take in 12 volts DC. And it's a subtle change, but it's a massive change because now the power path is really forever changed. You don't need to go to AC after your battery stack. And that's where we're saying, why not keep it in DC, come from the UPS in DC, right down to the units. So we're doing an end-to-end -end system that is the DC UPS side. We call it a DC UPS as opposed to an AC UPS. Right. And we bring it into our DC PSU, or DC power supply unit, which is also different. Mm -hmm. So um, quite a bit of new stuff that we're introducing, uh, a lot of kind of patented stuff on either side of this, but we, we, we bring it as a system. So it's very standard 480 AC in, and just comes right into 12 volts where the OCP people are ready to consume it. What did you think of the Microsoft announcement yesterday of the uh, battery power yeah, that's I, cut out the UPS? Yeah, that's that's interesting. You know, a lot of folks, um, I think it's a good solution. I think there's um, there's a lot of different ways to, to, to back up your power. Um, our position is that if you take the 480 power from utility and you, uh, it's scale, use modern power electronics to create DC, it's a better way to distribute it more efficient. So we like what they're doing. Um, we have a different approach, let's say, and we look forward to actually working with them and actually educating them on what we're doing. I think what they're doing is pretty neat, though. It's a really nice, actually, when you look at the battery stack, it's a pretty nice little unit. Yes. Yeah. It looks quite impressive. And final question, sir. What do you think we'll be talking about next year? What, what oh, big wow. changes in the data center yeah, yeah. are we going to uh, be well, in the race? You know, I mean, you know, I, I think this year there's a lot of people talking about management and the engineering workshops prior to this. It seems to be a big theme. Um, I, I, you know, I think from our perspective, what, what we believe will be an issue is is, is translating that, that the, the, the Facebook's power path, the, how they bring it in, which is quite different from how any enterprise deals with power. You know, it's, they bring in 277 right to these racks directly. We think that that's going to be a big topic of discussion. If you want to take OCP out of you know Facebook and bring it to the masses in enterprise and traditional private cloud, you know two ends going to be an issue. Um, getting the batteries off the floor and battery management that's kind of traditional that's going to be an issue. Um, there's there's a number of very significant issues. I mean, what Facebook done is wonderful in the power path. It doesn't necessarily translate the OCP model outside very well without somebody reworking the, the that side of it. So so we're, we're, we will look to contribute to that. We hope there's a lot more discussion around that. We think there will be as, as people look to bring it into new environments. How do you do two end? How do you, you know, so these are these are things that uh, we hope to be seeing next year at the discussion. Excellent. And yeah. we hope to see you commenting on in Data Center Dynamics as well. Mitch, thank yes. you very thank much you. for your time. Perfect. Thank you.